Hi everybody, my name is Cindy and I craft at Upcycled Design Lab. Today I'm going to be using the Fuseworks Microwave Kiln to make this project. Uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I've done a lot of jewelry projects using this kiln. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about actually how to use the kiln. Um, if you want to check out the links to my jewelry videos, those are right here. And that will show you a lot more detail about how to actually use the kiln. Uh, the thing is, ever since I've gotten it, I've been really interested in trying to figure out um, some other projects that I could make in the kiln that weren't necessarily ju just jewelry. So if you saw my last video, you know that I'm working on kind of redecorating the downstairs bathroom. And the link to that video is here, but my first project for that is to, uh, I made a shower curtain out of the foil from food wrappers. So you can check that video out. And then in this week's video, I'm gonna just try to bling it up even a little bit more with some glass charms for the shower curtain itself. So I'm gonna be using this glue, glue, blue bottle glass, and also some clear glass from an old frame. The first step is to cut the glass. So here I'm scoring it with a cutting tool at one and a half, half inches wide and then you can see once the scoring line is done that it's pretty easy just to, to break with your hands. For my design I needed 12 one and a half inch squares of clear so I'm going ahead and just cutting 12 squares here and then I'm going to go ahead go back and cut six smaller squares of the blue glass. Since the blue glass is a little bit curved it's not as easy to use the scoring tool so for that I'm going to use my uh, wheeled nippers to cut the squares of the blue glass. I apologize that you can't really see what I'm doing here but basically I'm just taking some small pieces of the blue bottle glass and using the wheeled nippers to trim them down to a small square size. Um, if you've ever used uh, the this kind of type of cutting tool you know it's pretty simple to use you just uh, line the glass up between the two wheels and they're kind of plier shaped and you pinch them down and it breaks the glass here's a quick shot of what the pieces looked like after they were cut and before the fusing process and this is a quick look at the fuseworks microwave kiln itself I put the cup next to it just so you could get an idea of the size. And here's another project that I did a while back. You can see what the glass looks like when it's being fused. Here's what the pieces look like after the fusing process. You can see I have them in pairs. So I have um, fused the one piece of clear and the blue together and then I have fused a single piece of the clear as well. Um, I did what I called a soft fuse on these so that the shapes are still kind of um, layered rather than a totally smooth shape where the colors have totally melted together. I talk a little bit more about that in the video up in the corner if you're interested in my own fusing terminology. And um, I made them in pairs because I wanted to give them a little bit more weight so I went ahead and then glued the pairs together with some clear Gorilla Glue. To finish off the pieces I did a wire wrap, sort of a, a jewelry styling that I've done before. And if you want more details on actually how I did the wire wrapping, you can check out the video on the Shamrock Charm in the uh, above corner. But this is what the pieces look like when I was finished. You can see some of the layering and I just added one big jump ring to hang off of the shower curtain. The last step was to change the color of the actual shower curtain rings. So I got my silver spray paint and just gave them a quick coat of paint. So that's it for today's video. Thanks again for watching. I hope you'll check out some of my other videos and subscribe to this YouTube channel.